So the Bucks are fresh off a loss to the Memphis Grizzlies, 113-110. After the game, Doc Rivers was not happy about the Bucks' loss. Uh, he said during his press conference, we had some guys here, had some guys in Cabo. Now, if you remember, again, and, and Doc Rivers in, in that press conference is basically alluding to guys not being there, focused mentally. If you remember, he's had some issues, uh, especially recently in Philly, uh, with Ben Simmons when they asked him if, if uh, they asked Doc Rivers after the season, remember Ben Simmons was having some, he was having some problems shooting the ball and, and focus and mental issues. And they asked Doc Rivers, could you win a championship with Ben Simmons as your point guard? And Doc Rivers essentially said, eh, I don't know, which was not the best answer. He's had some problems in the past with throwing guys under the bus. And some people are making comments now already online saying, ah, he's stretching those under the bus throwing muscles already. Um, JT, Chris, I want to get into this really quickly. You know, is is this the start of Doc Rivers starting to start finger pointing and, and point guys out? Is that the right thing to do? I mean, is it the right thing to do at this point in the season where, you know, do you need to be, you know, to, to, to start holding guys accountable who maybe haven't been held accountable um, thus far? I don't know. I don't know this is a good look, um, especially if you're Doc Rivers, you just got to the basketball team. The team has some issues with Adrian Griffin, Buttonheads, and the first thing you do after a couple of bad losses is it doesn't sound like you're and, – and mind you, I'll say this too. <clears throat> some of those other losses he had, some of the pressures were interesting too because, again, during the road trip, it was all the travel and the travel and the travel. It's all about travel. It's like, well, everybody in the league is traveling. Everybody's got to go through the same kind of stuff. And I get that you started on a road trip. but So he started off with a bunch of excuses, and now the first thing – next thing, first thing he says after a disappointing – lost back-to-back basis to Miami and, and Memphis, you're alluding to guys, oh, you know, but their heads weren't in it. At what point does the culpability remain with you? At what point does Doc Rivers, is, is he the one who has to, to examine himself and say, man, I didn't have this team prepared. Uh, sounds like he put it on the players. What do you guys think? Yeah, you know, my thing with, with Doc is, isn't it your job to have these guys motivated to get out there and play? Isn't that your job? Is that not right? Are you are you going to throw these guys under the bus when you're not doing your job? Because quite honestly, we have questions about the job that Doc has done. And and like you talked about, if you start down this road where you start throwing players under the bus, look, like, man, you just got here a few weeks ago. You, you ain't even pulled up in the practice parking lot 10 times yet. You, there's absolutely no way you can start this. And, 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 you're dealing with some real superstars here in Milwaukee. I, I don't think people are going to take that lightly. I really, I really don't. I think, I think you, you could start this relate. This relationship can become toxic very quickly, and that is the absolute worst case scenario for everybody, especially because this team is not winning. Right? You could say tonight, this we had some guys in Cabo, we had some guys over here. Yeah, okay, we're three and seven, right? So they've been, we've been in Cabo the last ten days. What, 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 what are we doing here, Doc? I don't know about this man, but I don't think this is the right road to go down from Doc Rivers. I don't think it is either, and especially when you look at part of the main reason AG was fired, he lost the locker room. And so when you start to get to blaming players for some of this stuff and, and these this lack of effort in some of these starts and not being able to beat teams that are down, it, it kind of shows that, look, this could end the same way. And I don't want that to happen. Obviously, nobody wants that to happen, but it is concerning um, for Doc Rivers to already – kind of figure that out as a scapegoat for some of his bad performance I mean this is a guy who's playing Pat Connaughton over 20 minutes a game and he hasn't shown it um, this is a guy who got Pat Beverly after the trade deadline and has not given him the opportunities that he might deserve and and that the Bucks might need especially when we don't have the perimeter defense and those have been part of the reasons that we've been dropping these games so yeah, I think it's a weak way to go out, and hopefully this doesn't continue. And if the Bucks, and if this is true, if if this is the situation, if if these guys are halfway in it, halfway not, then they do have some serious looking at themselves and self reflecting to do uh, as the season goes on. Well, you know, again, it, the the All Star break is upon us, and you know, guys may be starting to, to get ahead of themselves and get their vacations planned out. But you have to stay focused. You have to stay locked in. Uh, and again, I, you just can't even afford to have this kind of issue, these kind of issues in the locker room because Giannis can't afford to start. Again, I'm telling you, he's going to start to be looked at as a coach killer and that kind of stuff. If if the, if this thing doesn't work out with Doc Rivers, so they've got to figure that out. Like I said, three and seven so far in their last ten games. Uh, they call in Kyle Shanahan, the Doc Rivers of the NFL. 
So I don't know what's going on with this basketball team. Uh, but again, a disappointing loss tonight to the Memphis Grizzlies, 113-110. Doc Rivers starting to throw guys under the bus. I don't know. What do you guys think? So the problem, is it not? Uh, from the Guru Trey Crosby III. JT. Chris King. This is a Cream City crossover. We'll be at you soon.